हेलो फ्रेंड्स रिसेंटली ए फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट केम टू मी एंड आस्क मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस ड्यूरिंग अ मेडिकल कॉलेज जर्नी एंड लेटर ऑन एज अ मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल आई वाज टेकन अ बैक आई वांटेड टू से ए ए भाई ए व्हाट आर यू सेइंग देन आई रियलाइज दैट दिस इज द करंट डे फिलोसॉफी आइडियोलॉजी फॉर लाइफ एंड इट रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ माय गुड ओल्ड डेज व्हेन आई टुक एडमिशन इन मेडिसिन Uh, back then there were only two professions engineering and medical those who were good in mathematics will will choose uh, engineering and those who were good at rectifying the things will take in medicine so we took medicine and then uh, once you've taken in uh, medical field then uh, it had to be assumed that there is no life only work because noble profession and you are doctors you are going to serve the society uh you feel indebted if you are in government college society is paying your fees if you are in private college parents are paying your fees so you have to give a, uh i mean it's a debt that has been incurred and you have to return it and therefore uh this was the pressure tremendous pressure i remember uh for the pg also the branches that were uh, chosen mostly by the top rankers were uh, ms orthopedic md medicine general surgery etc and at the bottom end of the pyramid were the branches like md radio and md dermat uh, but then the times changed and these very branches md radiology and md dermatology and such branches which do not generally have emergency uh, emergency treatments etc those branches became the most sought after branches why because they offer good work life balance no emergencies good amount of money and a good life so life keeps on changing it's never a static phenomena and you need to adapt to changing uh, life situations all right anyways that's not the point the point is is work life uh, balance possible in a medical college as you begin your journey uh, let's see whether it is possible i'll tell you some of my uh, philosophies uh, from my uh, earlier days in life you know uh, on one hand we had parents they would say kheloge uh, kudoge banoge kharab padoge likhoge banoge nawab but on the other hand we also had this philosophy all work no play makes a jack boy dull so th this was the other end of the spectrum where uh, you know you have to have some amount of extra curricular activities also in your daily life then there were philosophies like this quotable quotes like this some people live poor to die rich i hope you understand what it means they are living uh, for something which is 50 years away and therefore they are not living in present at all to achieve something 50 years later or on the other hand there was a philosophy har pal yahan ji bhar jiyo uh jo hai sama whatever you know that the point being some people are completely living in the present moment uh they are not even thinking of tomorrow so these are the extremes of ideologies in life and we can have a balance of these ideologies as you begin your journey and therefore as you start your journey you will have to give answers to some of the questions for example uh why did you come into medicine and what are your goals ultimate goals i am not saying answer these questions on the day one but slowly and surely you will have to give answers to these questions for instance uh was there parental pressure you know i i have seen many cases where parents take vicarious pleasure by putting their kids into medicine they wanted to become doctors but they couldn't become doctors so they have put kids into the medicine profession kids were not uh, willing at all this situation is an unfortunate one but since you are if you are in that situation then don't crib about it you are there make the best of it best of the situation lead life from this point onward okay uh or you joined because it's a noble profession uh you want to treat the society you want to treat the patients etc uh, put service to the society or uh, bluntly speaking it offers money it offers fame that is why you have joined the profession answer these questions to yourself and answer them honestly and 
in the coming days and months do your swot analysis i hope many of you know what is a swot analysis strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats uh, what are your strengths are you an extraordinarily gifted individual even if you read little bit you can remember it after 2 years or 5 years in that case little amount of study will be good enough for you but if that's not your strength then you will have to perform some amount of hard work regularly on a regular basis so identify your strengths identify your weaknesses that is the first thing that i expect you to do in these first 2 3 months of your uh, medical college weaknesses i mean uh, is your handwriting good if not you can improve upon it uh, can you draw diagrams or not you will require lot of drawing skills as you proceed further um, apart from that other weaknesses particularly the language one yes i want to make this a point there are uh, there are people on both sides there are people who say a uh, students who say uh, i am from vernacular medium so please teach me in hindi i don't understand english and there are people who would say uh, we don't understand hindi so please speak in english my suggestion is slowly uh, you will have to give up this kind of a let's say cribbing not cribbing but these this type of a weakness or complaining why i say this is because those who say i am from vernacular medium and uh, i don't understand english for how long in this field you can continue to say this entire knowledge is in english see i understand that uh, uh, language is just a medium of communication i understand that language does not uh, equate with uh, the uh, knowledge thing but then uh, all the books are in english and therefore at some point you will have to make it stronger your english should be stronger on the other end there are people who say we don't understand hindi we can uh, we know only english that's okay but then what if the patient does not understand english and the patient speaks only hindi in that case you will have to understand some amount of hindi so my point is simple uh, let the language not be your weakness okay so in the coming days first thing that you will do is buy a dictionary a language dictionary and a medical dictionary also look at the words how they are spoken what is the diction all these things uh, improve your vocabulary improve your expression skills and then opportunities threats swot analysis uh, uh, threats could be in the form of hostel food which is not suitable you feel homesickness yeah that's a threat mean most of the hostelites uh, would feel homesick that's okay some people who are staying in the home and studying they also can feel low at times i am not saying depressed but uh, feel low we all feel that way i remember when i used to feel low what was my way of coming out of it either uh, i would listen to the bollywood songs like uh, niklenge maidan mein jis din hum jhoom ke dharti dolegi ye kadam chum ke song from jojita voice sikandar so i used to think that uh, when i walk into the field of life dharti dolegi ye kadam chum ke and i used to feel great yes i have the capability i can uh, i can achieve heights or uh, i would go into the past and uh, recall my peaks that i achieved heights of success that i achieved that would make me feel stronger so you can devise your own methods everything need not be uh, told by somebody some senior or teacher you can devise your own methods and uh, that is how you can make your swot analysis don't get carried away by the people uh, who keep on telling you are this is good enough study chal let's go and party let's go for picnic etc they might be the people who have who are extraordinarily gifted or they have already studied and they are coming to you and saying are keep it aside yaar we will go for picnicking so uh, yes make new friends now i'm talking about the balance of life make new friends you are in a new situation see who with whom uh, 
your thinking process is matching because you are going to make long term bondings long term relationships from now onward so uh, make friends wisely develop hobbies or if you already have some hobbies uh, continue with them sports cultural activities take part in this you can do all this once you are uh, you have settled your uh, study life so what do you require in the study life at least 2 hours of studies every day for 6 days a week that is the bare minimum okay uh, this 2 hours will include your uh, reading your writing notes uh, watching the videos etc but 2 hours daily so that your study remains on track you finish the syllabus in the same week, whatever going on in the college, and you are on track. All right. So, this should be the minimum of your studies along with the balance of your uh, weekends, uh, outings, uh, and partying with the friends on Sundays, etc. So, both things can happen. What I am trying to say now uh, might sound little contradictory because I am now going to tell you about the importance of efforts, hard work. Uh, look, PG is almost a must for every student. Okay. Uh, and that too in a good branch and at a place of your own choice. For that, you will require a rank, a good rank, high rank in the entrance exam. And for that, you will require regularity, sincerity and hard work from the, uh, from the first day. So, uh, am I sounding contradictory here? Just now I said, have a good work-life balance. Now I am saying put in hard work. No, it's, uh, it's the same. Regularity, just in the form of one, one and a half to two hours daily. And uh, whenever required, little more extra efforts uh, during the exam time. Why do I uh, say this is because you cannot say some day, some fine day, I will get up and then I will uh, uh, put in all the hard work required. In the final year, in the internship, I will start studying for PG entrance. No, these are habits. These are uh, virtues in you as personality and they may not get developed suddenly at one fine day. One fine day, I'll get up and start putting in all the extra efforts. This is not going to happen. If you have watched the movie uh, Night and Day, uh, the protagonist uh, Tom Cruise, he says, uh, someday is an expression, uh, is a camouflage for never. When you say, someday I'll do this, it means never. It's never going to happen. Start from today. Okay. That's uh, how you should proceed. Balance uh, of the work. In this case, in your case, the study and a good life uh, is possible. Uh, by good life, I mean uh, 360 degrees, not just uh, skewed towards studies and completely skewed towards one side. That's uh, that's nobody's case. All right. Uh, take pleasure in studies. Take pleasure in the extracurricular activities also. But uh, choose your friends wisely. Finally, uh, I'll tell you the philosophy of my life, which my father gave me some 40 years ago. He used to say, success is not a spontaneous combustion. You have to burn yourself. You have to burn yourself. And you have to burn yourself. It, it's not going to happen just like that. So, you have to put in lots of efforts. This is, uh, this is from where I come. Uh, this is the philosophy that I followed. But it was much later in life, after I uh, took uh, post-graduation in physiology, that is when uh, I started putting in lots and lots and lots of efforts. Right now, your journey is just beginning. So, have a good balanced personality. Your personality is developing now. Let it not be a one-sided personality or just uh, tilted on one side or leaning on one side. Let it be a balanced uh, personality and that's the way to go forward. That's, all, that's it from, uh, for now. Uh, much more to come in the next videos.